All right, guys, welcome to vlog number 10. Today, we are going to be talking about a few things. All right. One, um, the main thing that we want to talk about is what happens when you get assigned on an option, which happened to us, you know, and this is all good because this is, you know, a learning and this is showing real world what can happen, especially when you're trading with a small account. Okay. So what happened is XOXL as you know, fell way down. And we should have got out of this um, at the 21 days to expiration, okay? Because that's always where you want to be. When your option hits 21 days to expiration, you either want to roll that option, you want to close that option, but you need to get out of that option if it's especially going against you, okay? Even when it's going with you, you usually want to get out of it you know, take your, um, take any, any gain that you, that you've made on that trade and get out of it and start a new one. Okay. Um, so what happened is this one got assigned, you know, cause we let it go past 21 days of expiration and the person executed it. Right. So what happens when it, you get assigned, basically it closed out our strike price and then we had to cover it. So we had to buy the other strike, right? So let's go ahead and look at that here. So basically what happened with that is let me get this pulled over here. All right, here's our spreadsheet here. So with SOXL, right? So we sold the 56 strike, okay? And then we bought the 51 as our insurance, all right? So we collected hundred and thirty five dollars in premium all right so we took a hundred thirty five dollar credit when we entered this trade all right so what happened was when the trade went against us and it went all the way down here the person that was holding the 56 executed it said you know what I I am now going to sell you these hundred shares of stock at $56. So we had to buy them at $56. So if you look at that, you take 56 times a hundred, that's $5,600, right? Which we don't have at all. So what happened is to cover that, we needed to then sell these 100 shares at $51 because that insurance that we bought was a contract of someone else saying, hey, look, if this stock's below this, you will buy these, these 100 shares of stocks from us at $51, right? So we went ahead and sold this 51, 100 shares at $51. So it's $51, $5,100, right? So if we take, which is $5,100. So if we take the 5,600 minus the 5,100, that's a $500 loss, right? but we also collected $135 in premium. So you take 500 minus the 135 that we collected, and that's a $365 loss, okay? So if you look at it here, we go over, yeah, did that wipe out? That wiped out pretty much, it did wipe out all of our profit that we made back in July and June, which July we only did $57, but in June we took a profit of 267 right so with that one trade it wiped out all of our profits okay so the reason that i wanted to do this is because i wanted to show you what can happen if you hold on to these trades after the 21 days expiration okay the other thing that we did is we have another play here with qqq which we sold two contracts and bought two contracts right another thing that i wanted to do to show that if you get too crazy on on your your portfolio it could really go against you right so in this case we sold the two and we bought the two in reality what what you should do when you are starting a new trading strategy is you want to stick to your strategy right so that was having one contract having two different um contracts open but only doing two contracts right not three contracts which we did in August, okay? This one also is going against us. Now, what can you do to save this trade? Well, if you're like, 
us and you're using a small account, you really have no option, right? Because you can't roll this trade because you don't have enough cash in your account to actually buy the closeout of the, the, the losing trade to then open up the, the new trade to collect the additional premium, right? So if you look at QQQ, QQQ is moving, which is good. Our 30-day single moving average is still above our 470. But here's the thing, guys. If we're looking at this, we have 11 days to expiration, okay? So this is not looking good. So this is where you can quickly, you know, wipe out a small account if you get too aggressive. And this is why I always talked, you know, in the beginning that you want to go for singles and doubles. You don't want to go for those home runs. You don't want to get too crazy because you can lose out of your account very quickly, right? And when you don't have enough funds in your account, when you get a sign or any one of these, what's going to happen is you're going to get a margin call or a margin loan. Okay, a margin call simply says, hey, look, you don't have enough money in here to to cover this trade. We covered it for you. Now you need you have like, I think it's five days. I think you have five days to get that money back in the account to cover that assignment. Okay, if you get a loan, you know, or you have margin on your account, then you're basically just borrowing from your broker to then move on to your next next trade using your commissions okay so in this case like i said we have 218 dollars and 40 cents available that we can actually use to trade which isn't going to be enough to get us out of this trade we would need about 800 dollars to roll this okay which i can show you if we wanted to roll this if we had the money so basically what you would do is you would come in here we're going to go, we're going to do a create a rolling order. Okay. So we're going to sell the two. So if we look at, I can pull it up here to make it look, you can see here. So this is the trade we have up here, right? We sold the four, I'm sorry, we sold the 470 and we bought the 465. To get out of it, we need to do the reverse. We need to sell the 465 and buy the 470. All right. At the time I was doing this, you know, we were looking at, it was 370. And then this was a little bit more. This was like 400 or so. But we would just do the reverse at a later date. So as we plug this in here, so this is actually the 23rd. And then we would go out to September 27th. If we had the available funds to do this, this is what we would do, right? And you can see here, we'll collect an additional $174 in credit to roll this out, which will give our trade another, what is that, 40, 40 some odd days, whatever it is. It's going to extend our trade out so we give that stock more time to move back above that 470, which we know it's going to, right? But in this case, we don't have enough money to do this. So if you tried to execute this right now, what would happen is when you go to send it, it's going to give you a quick rejection, right? Saying you don't have enough available to actually do this. All right. So we're stuck in this trade. So really it leaves us no option other than to let this play out. And hopefully we can get back up in this range in the next week, week and a half, right? So stay tuned, guys. This video was all about talking about what happens when you get assigned on your options and how important it is to really pay attention to your 21 days to expiration and make your move on that day. If you're especially losing in the trade, roll it. If you're, you know, if you can roll it, if you can't get out of it, you know, especially if it starts going big time against you, because after days of 21 days of expiration is when you are most likely going to get assigned early. Can you get assigned before that? Sure. But Chances are you will not, okay? So to keep your chances of getting ass assigned on these options, you want to make your move at 21 days to expiration, not after, okay? So hopefully you take your credit before 21 days expiration, but if your trade's going against you, get out of it, roll it, do what you can, all right?
I appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. We will keep watching this trade and we will catch you next week and see where we're at. But again, thank you so much, guys. Go out there, make today an awesome day, and we will catch you on the next video. See you soon.